The historic California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco has reopened for business and is being called the greenest museum in the world. The renovation of the 150-year-old institution was three years in the making. The idea was to create an eco-friendly museum from the ground up. Aaron Pope is the manager of sustainability programs at the Academy. Inside of this building we had to fit a rainforest, a tropical reef, a natural history museum, um, and a planetarium, and a very large public space. So when you think about combining all of those different features together into one building, something like this had never been done before. So a lot of the challenges were to decide how we can take all these pieces and make them fit together in a sustainable way. Museum officials believe sustainability is smart business and good for the bottom line. The greening of the museum has helped the bottom line in two ways. Long term, um, the design features which we've integrated into this building will actually save us money in terms of our water bill and our energy bill and probably in terms of our maintenance expenses too. One of the highlights of the Academy is this living roof. It has more than 1.7 million individual plants and it covers two and a half acres. The living roof provides natural ventilation inside the building, reducing the need for a costly air conditioning system. These very steep hills help to channel cold air into the piazza. Once the cold air enters into the piazza, it's then sucked out through these other windows into the main opening of public spaces and cools them naturally. The museum also uses solar energy to power 8% of its operations. We figure we'll probably save anywhere between fifty dollars and $100,000 a year from this, from this photo array and they will pay themselves back over the course of probably about 15 to 17 years. The green features have also helped the museum achieve valuable LEED Platinum certification. LEED, which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, is an organization responsible for setting standards on green building design. Engineers used recycled materials in the construction process, from steel and cement in the walls to even blue jeans for insulation. What this material is, is actually scraps of blue jean denim from a denim factory. There is a company that takes these scraps and grinds them up and compresses them into this insulation material. And this insulation material is actually in the walls throughout the academy. The total cost to build the new academy, $488 million, which was 10% more than if architects went the conventional construction route. But museum officials are hoping to recoup those costs and achieve profitability through energy efficiency and by attracting visitors. The public is very, very interested in supporting organizations which are going green and showing concern for the environment. And so a very big part of our image and our allure right now, I think, is the fact that we have made a very big commitment to trying to lower our own environmental footprint and also to educate visitors about environmental problems and possible solutions that they may face out in the real world. For BNET, I'm Sumi Das.